to install MS-DOS 4, you will need three flap disks of MS-DOS 4 setup. First one is install, second is operating, and third the optional one is a MS-DOS shell. Let's create a virtual machine first. Set the RAM at least to 60 megabytes. Hard drive can be set up to 2 gigabytes. And before we start the virtual machine, we will have to disable one option in BIOS. So tap delete while it's booting up. Okay, now we are in BIOS setup. We will go to advanced tab, ID configuration and disable PCI ID bus master. For some reason MS-DOS uh, 4 will not uh, run properly if this is enabled, so disable it. Press escape, go to exit, enter and save changes. But before that we will capture the first disk, enter. Okay. Now we have an installation screen, if you want to read it, but we will just skip that. Another introduction, skip that too. Okay, now we can choose how much MSS will use uh, memory, but I'll just choose a maximum DAX function with min minimum program workspace. If you want to change your keyboard, uh, keyboard uh, layout, choose two, but otherwise choose one. Choose C drive to install DOS, one, and to specify the DOS location, but just choose one. Leave this at zero because uh, you don't uh, have any printers on virtual machine. And now we can choose to install MS-DOS uh, shell, which is uh, like a graphical user interface for MS-DOS. We'll install it anyway. And now we have, now we'll start the installation. But before that, we'll have to create a virtual floppy disk, uh, which is uh, used to copy some uh, installation files called select copy. We'll use a virtual disk wizard, continue, create a new virtual disk, a virtual floppy disk, set it, set it to low density, and call it disk for select copy. Okay, finish, okay. We will still keep in the install disk, so press enter. Yeah. Okay, now we remove the install disk and choose select copy, press enter. Okay, now we go back to install disk, press enter again. And again uh, choose the select copy and press enter. Okay, just choose uh, the, just let's select uh, to define partition size, so you don't have to bother. And restart. Okay, now uh, choose operating disk and press enter and optionally if you have enabled it uh, choose them as the shell too press enter again and that's it remove all floppy disks and restart okay now we have a ms dos uh, shell interface This is the command prompt, you can uh, always exit, and it's pretty much like Windows, might be confusing at some point, but uh, we'll get used to it anyway. If you just want to leave that, uh, exit shell, F3, and you're back to usual command line. So that's it, uh, now we have MS-DOS 4 installed, enjoy it.